it's been a little bit and I'll explain that in a second but this is going to be my plus size pregnancy Q&A and then I had a few girls ask to just kind of go into detail about um, my experience with plus size pregnancy and like kind of like doctors versus midwives since I've had both so I will do that as well but um yeah uh, in my last video I promised that this one would be up in like the next day or two <clears throat> and um so my last video I had already recorded and it somehow got deleted and then I ended up getting sick and stuff so then I was like I'll just get on and then upload this one because it was already filmed ready to go and somehow this one got deleted too so I'm just now getting time to film and I have to film like three videos including this one so yeah my husband just went to bed kids are in bed I just got out of the shower and we need to get some filming done because it's been a while so um, I have a few questions that I'll answer and then I'll kind of just talk about I have a few notes about like my experiences and um, doctor versus midwife type deal so we will get to it um, Amy Hedrick asked <laughs> I just did that because I know her personally <laughs> um, she says so in her classes it shows the amount of weight each person is supposed to gain throughout a pregnancy do you find that frustrating how has that affected your pregnancy do you listen to the doctor do they threaten to induce you early <clears throat> so with my first I wasn't plus size and then with my second I was overweight but I wasn't technically considered plus size I don't think because no one ever said anything if I was but so since Kelsey Ezra Jasper and this one I've had four plus size pregnancies um, with Kelsey and Ezra, I had an extremely awesome midwife. So, I mean, she would just tell me, you know, you are overweight, try to watch what you eat, um, just try to stay healthy as possible, and try not to gain a ton of weight. Like, she was just super cool about it. So, I didn't have a lot of problems with her. But when we moved here, Army hospitals are, like, totally different. And they were kind of douchebags. Like, I'm not going to lie, like they were douchebags and they um <clears throat> they just mentioned it every time I walked in the room and tried to like give me all this blah 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 like you're too heavy to have a healthy pregnancy crap and I'm like well I've had two before this one and I was the same size so okay whatever and it was a lot of fighting and arguing and the amount they wanted me to gain was zero pounds. So they didn't want me to gain any weight at all. And if I did, they didn't want it to be more than 10 pounds. <clears throat> um, I do find it frustrating. I mean, I understand like they don't want you to gain a lot of weight because you're already big. That's fine. Like, it's the way that they go about it that is frustrating compared to like, my midwife was like, you know, watch what you eat, try to be healthy, don't gain a ton of weight. But don't like, she would say, don't over like think about it and like stress about it because that's going to be worse. And you know, she's right. Like that's going to be worse. And then, um, uh, I don't think it affected my pregnancy because I honestly ignored them. <laughs> um, just because... I wouldn't like recommend you ignore your doctor or whatever but like just because my experiences before I feel like I am knowledgeable in it to where I know like I shouldn't be gaining a ton of weight and I know that but I'm not gonna stress over them telling me I can only gain zero pounds like that's dumb like who is growing a baby and only gonna gain zero pounds like some people sure if you do that that's amazing but like you're growing a baby in you. You're going to gain some weight. Whether you're big or tiny. <laughs> um, they did not threaten to induce early because of my weight. But I did get threatened to induce early for other things. And I ended up being induced early. Which 
if I was a little bit more knowledgeable on like the laws and like what I could have done, I probably wouldn't have been because I would have been like, no, but that's a different story. Okay. She also asks, even though she hates maternity clothes, do you find them harder to find? Um, For me and my size, yes. Like, there are plus size maternity clothes at, like, just your regular stores, like Motherhood Maternity and Walmart, Target, stuff like that. There are, like, plus size, but they're, like, super tiny. Like, they're not, I feel like they're not made for an already plus size woman who is also going to be carrying a baby. Like, they're just not made for that. And then you can look up online and stuff, and usually, like, you can find stuff, but it's, like, ten times more expensive than little maternity clothes. So, I don't, I haven't worn maternity clothes since I had Nova. I don't even know if I wore them with Nova, because I didn't like them either. Um, and with Aiden, I was small enough to wear, my mom found cute things that I did like that were maternity, but I haven't worn maternity clothes since way back then so um yeah it's harder to find them if you do find them it is at a price and I'm not willing to pay for them so um she also asks is it easy to find the little one with the Doppler um and for the doctor it is easier for them to find it than me at home uh if that's what you're asking. So for me, it takes me a little bit to find it. Um, probably between like, I don't start trying till like 12 weeks, maybe a little bit before, but it's so difficult to find it at 12 weeks on like a small person that on me and trying to like get in the right spot is a little bit tricky. So around 12 weeks to 20 weeks, it actually is very hard for me to find it. And it can be a little tricky for the doctors to find it. It has been tricky for them to find it before. So they've just sent me to an ultrasound to find it. But um, around 20 weeks, it gets a lot easier to find the baby. Um, did it take longer to start feeling kicks? And on the inside, not really like... For me, I feel flutters and stuff pretty early, I would say, but um, I've heard that you will start, like, if you've been pregnant more than once, that you just kind of notice them earlier on. So, I would say that outside kicks that you feel on the outside of your belly definitely take longer to feel. And I am 28 weeks pregnant, and Rob has not felt her move, but... That's also because he doesn't have patience and, um, yeah, he just like kind of rubs on my belly and then he gives up. He doesn't wait very long and honestly, every time he puts his hand on my belly, she quits moving. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but with Ezra, it took him a lot longer to feel and with Jasper too, it took him a little while. So, yes. Um, the last one she says is what was the best experience you had with a plus size pregnancy or the worst? Um, I would say the best is what I'm experiencing right now with the birthing center. Um, sorry, that's just my computer. Um, it's just been like super amazing and stress-free. Um, <clears throat> So I feel like this is going to be my best plus size pregnancy experience. Um, the worst was with Jasper. And <clears throat> so I'll go into that a little bit. Um, it was just right off the bat, like, um, I was too fat. So I was probably going to have high blood pressure. And every week they thought, you know, you're going to have high blood pressure. You're going to have high blood pressure like that's all they talked about I was gonna have gestational diabetes they talked about it every time I went in they tested me early they test me at normal time and then they wanted to do a three-hour one because they were convinced that I was going to have gestational diabetes because I was big and it was just so stressful that my blood pressure 
every time I went in was high. Like, and it wasn't because, I don't think, it was because um, I had high blood pressure. I think it was because I was so stressed to go there that like I didn't, every time I went there I was like freaking out. And um, so every time I went in my blood pressure was high <laughs> and then um, they would wait and do it at the end and have me lay back and it would be normal by the time the visit was over. So it was just a lot of irritating stuff and trying to warn me of all these things that could go wrong and I was probably going to have a c-section even though I've never had a c-section before. This time was going to be different because I don't know. I was the same late as I was with the last two before him. So. It was just ridiculous. It was the worst experience. And I don't know if it was because it was an army hospital or not, but that's what I blame it on. So, Okay, and then someone else asked, do people just assume you're fat? And I don't know. I've never had anyone like just be like, oh, are you fat or pregnant? But I assume people don't know that I'm pregnant um, because if you don't know that I'm pregnant, I don't think you can tell and if you do know I'm pregnant and you're around me all the time you can kind of tell like where my belly has started to stick out at so you can kind of notice but like if you don't know me and you don't know who I am you probably just think I'm fat so <laughs> um is it hard to tell you have a baby bump that was the other question that went with that and I do think it is hard to tell if you don't know me and you don't know I'm pregnant or if you're not around me all the time, yeah. I would say that people don't know and they don't really realize that I have a baby bump. I just kind of look fat. <clears throat> I'll show you at the end of this my awful baby bump. <laughs> um, and then the last question was, can you have a healthy pregnancy, no complications at all? And the answer is yes, because I have had Kelsey Ezra Jasper, completely healthy, no complications, vaginal births, um, no gestational diabetes, no high blood pressure, um, nothing. Like, completely healthy pregnancies. Besides the fact that, um, I was induced for Jasper because when I went in, my blood pressure was high, and then they're like, okay, we're gonna induce you. My blood pressure was normal through the whole induction, so it was kind of stupid. <laughs> um, but other than, like, I feel like maybe the aches and pains just like on my joints and the weight I'm carrying around on top of being pregnant is a lot harder to deal with. Like it's gotten a lot harder since I had Aiden and Nova for sure. Um, other than that, everything has been healthy and everything is going healthy and smoothly with this one. So I don't doubt that labor and delivery will be any different? So my answer is yes. And if doctors tell you that you can't, I would suggest interviewing another doctor. <laughs> so now I have some notes just about like my experiences and like stuff, midwives versus doctor type stuff. So my first tip is a lot of doctors versus midwives will automatically tell you everything that can go wrong. They will just, just because they see that you are heavy, they will like give you a list. Um, Preterm labor, C-section, high blood pressure, gestational diabetes. Um, I don't know. They just like have a huge list. Basically, if you like basically Google like plus size pregnancy, you will get the list that doctors give people. And it's a little scary. So, that's not every woman. Yes, some girls that are big go through all of that, but it's not everyone. And if you actually look into, like, real life people that have plus size pregnancies, you will find out that most of them have pretty good experiences. Um... They will not let you go overdue because you have a higher chance at having a stillbirth. And that is 0.2% higher risk of a stillbirth than the average size woman. So that is a lie. Like, they say that a lot. 
I was told that multiple times by three different doctors. And so I did my research on that one. And it's 0.2%, 0.2% higher than the average size woman for a plus size to have a still birth. That is like dumb to me. Why would they even like mention that to you at all? Because the risk is not much greater. Don't know why, but they mention it. So don't let that scare you. That is just dumb. I don't know why that they even like bring that one up just because it's not even like an extreme risk. I don't know. That, that one bugs me like that they even say it at all. Um, they will automatically test you early for gestational diabetes because of your BMI. And then they will want to do one at the normal time. Um, I think they do it around 26, 28 weeks. They'll want to do one again just because you're overweight or plus size. Doesn't mean you're going to have gestational diabetes. And I would recommend you voicing that. Like... You can decline the test, um, the early one, and then just, like, wait and do the normal one. But with, like, Jasper, them wanting to test me, like, three different times, and, like, I was just new here and, like, didn't know if I could say no or not. What I know now is you can decline any test that you want, and I would have declined it. Because just because you're plus size does not mean you will have gestational diabetes. Um, they will give you a max, <laughs> they will give you a max weight that you are allowed to gain and tell you not to gain any more, and they will stand firm to that, but, uh, excuse me, I have a really bad heartburn at night time, <laughs> um, but my tip for that is to just take it with a grain of salt and nod your head and say yes at home so anyways um just like kind of take that with a grain of salt and know that you are bigger so let's not eat everything in the house but don't stress about like your eating habits because honestly that'd be way worse than just trying to stay healthy as possible because you want to be healthy in your pregnancy anyways and just try not to Think about the scale and just relax about it. Have a healthy, happy, enjoyable pregnancy without worrying about your weight. Because us big girls worry about our weight without being pregnant. We don't need to worry about our weight while we're growing a human being inside of us. Um, also, your chance of C-section is much higher. This is not me saying these things by the way this is things that I have been told by doctors versus midwives so this is kind of why I like midwives a little better and why I'm going with the birthing center type thing if that makes sense anyways <laughs> um, and they will tell you that if you have to be induced you'll most likely need a c-section which is false I've been induced three times out of five pregnancies never needed a c-section didn't come close to needing one <laughs> um, so that doesn't mean don't I mean if you want a natural birth and stuff don't let that scare you and make you think like oh you're gonna have a c-section like there's no way for you to have a natural vaginal birth because there is it can be done it's been done and it can be completely healthy for you. No different than the average size girl. And then the last one is people will assume your pregnancy will be unhealthy and they may say things like, do you have high blood pressure? Do you have diabetes? And will you need a C-section? And my tip for that, which I don't know if I said I was gonna give out tips, but I apparently am. Um, my tip for that is to not um, be so critical or like, rude to people because honestly they don't know the reason that like plus size pregnancies everyone just assumes they're unhealthy and like this horrible not what you should be doing type of thing is because no one talks about like 
how plus size pregnancy can be healthy. Like there's literally not many things out there about it. Um, but there's tons of girls who are overweight or plus size having babies. So it's something that should definitely be talked about more and people should be educated on it more because People just assume it's unhealthy and not natural and like you shouldn't be doing it. And not that I would rather have a plus size pregnancy compared to like when I got pregnant with Aiden. It was a lot easier on my body. But at the same time, God has blessed me with all these kids. And if I would have waited till I got skinny and healthy, I could be like missing out on all these blessings. So I am thankful for each one of my plus size pregnancies and I don't care what anyone has to say about them because each of them has been beautiful and extremely healthy in their own ways and I wouldn't change them just so I could be skinny and have a baby bump that looks pretty cute. So yes, just don't be like hard on people because they probably don't know. Take that as an opportunity. Sorry to educate them about plus size pregnancy and how it can be healthy just like a normal pregnancy. So anyways, that's all I have for you, but I'm going to show you my baby bump, which I never thought I would do. Um, just because like, not that I'm like worried about it, but I honestly don't think you can tell that I'm pregnant because most of you don't know me and haven't seen me from down past this so um yeah I will show you but you're probably not gonna realize <laughs> okay so this is all my fat this right here is baby girl this used to be just kind of flat like the rest of my belly just kind of flat and hanging like that but she is right here, popped out, and yeah, she's getting big. But many of you don't know, but I um, lost a lot of weight when my husband was deployed. Like, it was over 50 pounds, and all that um, pudge that used to be there from like Jasper had started going away and my belly kind of just hung flat. So that's how I know that she's definitely popping my belly out and making me have a baby bump. I just don't like all around it. <laughs> but yeah, I have like a few other videos to record. So I gotta get off here, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys just, um, I don't know, take <laughs> what I said as completely heartfelt and not like <clears throat> against like skinnier moms or anything. Um, it's just my experiences and what I've gone through have made me kind of passionate about plus size pregnancy. And um, I love pregnancy in general. I love pregnancy, birth, everything about having babies. I love it and that if you're fat skinny short tall I don't care like us women need to be together on this and support each other whether we're big or small and know that all of us can have healthy pregnancies together so I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't because you can follow me on all my baby updates and we're getting close we only have 12 weeks left and yeah, I'm getting super excited. So we will see you guys again soon.